Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 25. God is giving instructions for the ark. We're at verse 16 today, and we're only going to look at verse 16 because the ark, this verse has to do with what's going to go into the ark. So let's look at it here, and we'll just read it straight out. You shall put into the ark the testimony which I shall give you. So here we have set apart these instructions uh, in this space. And Moses is going to get the Ten Commandments. They're going to be on the tablets of stone. And those are what's going to be. They're going to go into the ark. So what the ark, we've just been going through the description of it. It's a essentially a box, gold lined on the inside, gold lined on the outside. Uh, it has a gold cover we'll come to. Uh, but it is that's the most sacred space. Uh, enclosed space in the tabernacle, in the sanctuary, in the most holy, in the holy, in the in the courtyard, and so on. This is the most uh, extraordinary space. And what's going to go in this most extraordinary space? It's going to be the tablets of the Ten Commandments that Moses is going to be given by God. The testimony. There's going to be two of those tablets, and they're going to go in there as as a a legal representation. This is the relationship. This is God's law. This is this is who God is. This is who you worship. This Ten Commandments sort of outlines in in the small way, you know, what God's character is. I've got another bit from Sarn. I just want to share it's just like one line here. But in Sarna's commentary, he points this out: God is never said to reside in or to speak from it, from the ark, only to communicate with Moses from above it. And then he points to verse 22, of course, which we'll see here in a day or two. So yes, even Moses, the way the ark is, uh, the size and shaping of the ark with the feet and the ark and the parts that we're going to put on top of the ark, we're coming to. But that is all situated so that Moses Moses can stand and be in front of the ark. And in between the chariot beam, which we'll describe, uh, there will be God's presence and God will communicate. He's going to speak to Moses. Moses will be able to, he won't be able to see anything because God's shining, glowing glory, that will be there. So as Moses stands before the ark, he'll be able to recognize God's presence there standing above the mercy seat. We'll talk about the Kippurit. And uh, we'll be able, he will hear God speaking to him from between the cherubim above. And more to come here as we continue looking at the sanctuary and the tabernacle and the fur articles of furniture in this extraordinary place. See you tomorrow morning.